So, uh, Nate, have you ever played this game before, the Uzumaki Chronicles? I don't know much about it, to be honest with you. And then, yeah, I see the little grenade icon. Make sure I got everything up and running. It looks like it. I think I... Oh, no, okay, there's a circle. Circle does grenades. See, if I had watched the uh, tutorial, I probably would have known that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And you mostly fight, like, robots and, and then, like, uh... For some reason, I almost said Canadians. Uh, not Canadians, though. What the hell are they? the Russians and stuff? Yeah, it's it's crazy, man. So I feel like I don't know if this game has a speedrun community at all, but I feel like that'd be a strat. Would be. I think I played it, but can't remember one moment. And yep, I've played a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I, so like I'm I'm fine with Naruto. I, I've watched like the first hundred episodes or so, um, but I've never like finish the series right so i don't know as much about it as as many other people would um but i certainly don't have like any sort of problems with the series i'm just no expert so i've never like really worried about picking up the games and trying it out or anything not like uh dragon ball z you know dragon ball z growing up i i absolutely loved like to death and back so I, I watched the hell out of that I, I picked up all the games that i could get my hands on etc etc but it looks like everything is good to go at this point let me switch on over to the game view here and that was perfect timing i didn't even mean for that to happen just right on the uh it's right before this it was playing the screen the little like uh demo screen that was just perfect timing man all right, all the audio levels are looking pretty good. All right, let's see here. Options, I, I did boot it up just to make sure everything was working earlier and uh, took a quick look at the options. I don't think I really need to change anything. You don't recognize this one? Yeah, I mean, there were multiple Naruto games for the PlayStation 2, if I'm not mistaken, so you may have played one of the other ones or whatever. But anybody who's just joining me or watching on YouTube, one of the VODs or something like that, this is the PS2 Gauntlet. I am on a quest to collect every PlayStation 2 game released in North America and then play every one that I possibly can on stream. The original plan was to literally play all of them, but then I remembered that there's some not-so-savory games on the PlayStation 2 that I may not be allowed to stream for one way or another. Um, and then there's, like, the music games, which... You know, you can technically stream those, but with copyright and things, it could be a little bit difficult. So not sure how we're going to work all that out. I still plan on collecting them all, but playing them may be a little more difficult. But regardless, I am on a quest to do that and stream a little bit of all the games as I, as I try them out. And any of them that I really enjoy or that you guys seem to really enjoy, I may just complete on stream. And let's begin, shall we? So, uh, yeah, this is Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles. Don't know much about it. I guess we'll both kind of learn what it is as I play through it here. Um, here's a maintain the peace. Okay, so just kind of some backstory on all that stuff there. Just turn off all the audio. See, that's what I was actually thinking for, like, Guitar Hero and stuff. But I don't know... Like, I mean, there's some basically porn games on the PlayStation 2 too, so that could be a bit of a problem. Um... So is this set a little bit later in the series, it looks like? Yeah, this looks like, because, I mean, they, they're mentioning Orichimaru and all that, which, uh, if I remember correctly, doesn't start really appearing until, like, episodes 40, 50, something like that. This one, if I remember right, leaned towards some RPG aspects. Well, that's great for me, because I love RPG games. Even the youngest Ganon are burdened, da-da-da... And then we got good old Naruto. Dope. Let's go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so far, I'm waiting on a couple games still to come in the mail, but I own a total of about 2.4% of PS2 games. A massive number, I know. Check out this voice acting. I've never watched Naruto in English, so I don't know... Oh, 
sorry about that. My bad. Look, how about I make up for it by supervising your training? Really? Yes. First, let me see if you've forgotten any of the fighting basics. Move according to my instructions. Got it? Cool. Tutorial section here. I'll do the basic controls, I guess, just in case. I mean, I'm sure I can, can handle it. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I have about 2.4% of the games I've streamed after this game, roughly 0.15% of the game, something like that, on the North American PS2 list. So slowly but surely getting there, and I have a couple more games on the way. That list, of course, is available. If you do um, exclamation point PS2, it'll give you a link to a page that lists all of the games that I had when I first made up this whole thing, as well as a link to, to a master list that I have. So if you want to see those, you're more than welcome to follow that there. All right, let's get going. To run, you move the left analog stick, dash, tap X twice while running, jump, press X. I don't know if I like that. Hold X down for higher jumps, that's all fun. Okay, so we do that, and we do that, and then... Oh, okay. See, I was thinking it would be more like a sprint or something like that, but still not sure I'm a huge fan of the, the double tapping X to dash thing, but I guess that's fine. Uh, lock on our target with L1. Cancel lock by pressing L1 again. That makes sense. Pretty simple stuff here. Uh, locking on locks on. Who would have known? Wait, was I supposed to do something else? Oh, lock on movement. And then cancel lock on, okay. Same if I go radio silent for a minute, I'm here, just set my dad's. So, oh yeah, no problem, man, no problem. Always appreciate you guys being here. Whether you're super active in stream or not, I still appreciate everybody that comes in and, you know, even if you just chill, lay back, have it as background noise, I don't care, man. Just appreciate y'all being here. Basic five hit combo, press square repeatedly. Very short reach, but can be performed swiftly, okay. So glad we're doing this tutorial. <laughs> Sarcasm aside, I mean, you know, I'm sure there's gonna be something in here I would've been a little confused about. Like the, the dashing, I probably wouldn't have guessed the, the double tapping X thing, for instance. So, it's basically like God of War here. I mean, the dodging's different, of course, but I mean, with the uh, square seems like your basic attack, triangle seems like the more powerful attack, but I'm guessing it's a little bit slower. Or, oh no, that may be like a group thing. Full back fist combo. Oh, okay, so it's not like a chain thing. Like, in God of War, you keep... It's a power attack. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so it is some sort of combo. There we go. Yeah, sort of similar, I guess. Very different in all honesty, but yeah, basically the same thing, whatever, right? Heavenward kick. Press square four times, then finish with triangle. Okay. It's a little weird the way you have to change the chain the combos together. If you hit them too slowly, like you have to hit it pretty rapidly, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I was trying to hit it a little more slowly, like waiting until the animation was almost done and then hitting it again. That did not do anything. So you kind of got to like quickly tap one, two, three, four, wait a second, hit triangle. It kind of seems like. The Shadow Clone, of course, this is what he's famous for. Just tap R1 during a five hit combo. And cause a lot of damage. Okay. Okay, so you just make a random shadow clone that just jumps out and does a uh, extra hit on him. Cool, cool. So definitely said a little bit later in the series. Not like super late or anything, I don't think. But not like right in the beginning either. A little time has passed. Release shadow clones by using stamina to build up your ch chakra. The more chakra you build up, the more clones you'll create, and the longer they'll last. If you have an enemy locked on with L1, your clones will focus their attacks on that enemy. Hold down R1 and release. Okay. Create two clones at once and attack. 
Was I supposed to attack with them? No, okay. <laughs> I kind of hate when games have tutorials like this, to be honest, because it's just, I feel like it's the worst way to do a tutorial, when you could just get us into the action and just kind of tell us as we're going along with little pop-ups or something, but I guess it's fine. Like the Shadow Clone Jutsu, the power strikes performed by using stamina. The more shocker you amass, the stronger your power strike will be. Uh, okay. Power strike, hold down R2 and release. Can be used in mid-air. Okay. We just hold that down, and then is that was that a Rasengan or however the whatever the heck it's called in, in Naruto? Is that what that was supposed to be? Of course, no. He summons all of the Shadow Clones to help him make that, right? I guess that was just a powerful attack or something. Oh, we got the sexy Jutsu guys. Use up a large amount of stamina at once, but can be used instantly without building up chakra. Press R1 and R2 together. See, this is the stuff that I'm gonna forget. Is um what? There it goes. <laughs> did that did that do anything? <laughs> I don't know if this is actually doing anything. You really got to hit those like at the same time. Okay, I did it, right? That's all it wanted me to do. Ooh. Hello. Do I have to, like... There it goes. Oh, you have to hit... Wait, what? Why didn't it hit them any of the other times? Do you have to be, like, right up against them for it to work? I figured since Sexy Jutsu is, like, a visual thing or whatever, that it would have been, you know, fine. Just at a distance. Uh, press start to open camp. Use items with circle... Um, okay. Equip an item and hit an enemy. Equip attack item. Kunai knife. And then... It was what? S circle. There we are. Okay. So that's kind of like the key attacks in Dragon Ball Z games, right? Just kind of infinite little things. More for just like stunning or, or breaking a combo or something of somebody far away. Enemies drop stuff when they die. Virtue builds virtue. Chakra builds stamina, or recovers stamina. And then items as well. Is he gonna fight back? Not too fun if he doesn't fight back. What's that, uh, like, X square thingy down the bottom right-hand corner, I wonder? I don't know what the hell that's about. Uh, skill chips. Enter the camp screen, select abilities, and buy skill chips. Skill chips do things. Uh, it's a drain effect. Attack with taijutsu and pick up a chakra worm. Okay. So it's our ability. Skill plates. Set skill chips. Taijutsu. Drain. Set. Seems a little convoluted, I'm not gonna lie, but... Maybe it'll be okay. Like, I'm sure once I get used to it, I won't really mind, but... So many clicks just right in the beginning, though. It seems a little ridiculous. But is that all I had to do, or do I have to Shadow Clone this dude, too? Set the Drain Effect Chip, Attack, and pick up the Chakra Orb. Okay. Easy. How many more of these are there? <laughs> All right, defense, substitution, on the ground, press X the instant you're attacked. Disappear in a puff of smoke, then launch your counterattack. You still take some damage, that's important to know. Ah. Okay, can I turn the camera? No. Ah, okay. Well, it seems like you get a little bit of a uh, buffer on the timing. That is a joke with the press square five times. Oh, I know. I, I know you didn't actually think it was a difficult combo. <laughs> I gotcha. Um, switching to ally. Oh, okay. That's kind of neat. Control your ally until his stamina runs out. Use ninjutsu with R1 and R2. Press L2 again to put your ally back on standby. Okay. 
Okay, so... He seems to do the same thing no matter which... Um... Like, if you're using triangle or square, it didn't seem to make much of a difference. And then I think it wanted me to cancel. How do... There it goes. Was that it? Did I forget a step? Is there something else I was supposed to be doing? Maybe I had to, like, switch, attack a little bit. Ooh. Nice. And then do that? Is that what I had to do? Hello? Ooh, nice. What's that called? The Chichiri or something like that? Chido, chi, chidori? I didn't even see that whenever I was going through it. <laughs> I must have completely missed the goal for that one. Activate the nine tail power. Uh, pulling off a large number of combos will move the nine tail gauge from sealed to unsealed. Unsealed state and your health is low enough, you can summon the power of the nine tailed fox. Press triangle and circle together when the conditions are fulfilled. Okay. So what level of nine tail power am I currently at? <laughs> I have no idea. I'm sure somebody out there can place exactly where in the timeline this is, though. Ooh, nice. Can I do jutsu here, too? I can. Seems like just the regular jutsu. Didn't seem like the jutsu was any different, really. Just, uh, it was automatically spawning shadow clones and whatnot, though. So again, I have no idea if the voice actors are the same as they are in the American version of the show or not. The the dub, I've only ever watched it subbed. So if anybody out there knows, then that'd be cool, but I have no idea. Well, we can't really do much. We can just go to the Hokage's room. So I guess we'll do that right after we drop a quick save. We had the opportunity of uh, skipping all of that tutorial stuff. So at least if we did like crash or something, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but still might as well get it done with now. All right, let's go to the Hokage's room, see what he does for us. Is this where we get like our missions or whatever? We just go and get missions from him and then... Oh, and I guess this would uh, tell us kind of where we're at in the timeline too, based on who the Hokage is. That'd give us some indication, right? Transport food items from the Hidden Leaf Village to Tanzuku, Tanza, Tanzaku town. Deliver them to the waiting trader. You may be attacked in transit, so be careful. Except no. <laughs> yes, obviously. It was the only mission there. What are we going to do? Just stay on the main menu screen the entire time? Uh, okay, we can save again, or we can just leave the village. Okay, so we actually had to pick, like... Oh. This isn't what I expected. So we have like the world map, we move from dot to dot to our location, and then at every dot there can be some sort of random encounter, maybe, but not necessarily? Question mark? Alright, we're fighting one lowly ninja here. I think we'll be okay. Oh. Dude. He's literally starving to death. Give him some food. Just give him some food and let him be on his way. If time runs out or if your cart breaks, your goods will be stolen and the mission will be failed. Defeat the enemies within the timeline and stop them from attacking your cart. Okay. 
And the better you do, it carries stuff over to the next... Whatever. To the next... Oh, wait, is there more than one? What the hell? <laughs> I did not know that. Can I not attack them on the ground? Alright, well... Excuse me. I'd appreciate it if you didn't attack my shit. Deaded. GG, boys. Okay, I honestly expected that to go a little bit better, but uh, I didn't know... Oh, pick up the item. Didn't know that there were more than one. I thought there was only one there. That was all that was in the cutscene. So I was like, yeah, that's gotta be it, right? You literally just said he's starving, though. Like, how can you not feel at least a little bit bad for the guy? So, are the blue circles all, like, towns or something? Because that's South Town, that's East Town. What's this up here? Is that... Okay, I can't actually go there. And then the gray circles seem to just be whatever locations. And I can't move the map, at least not at the moment. I'm sure it'll open up more as we progress through the game, though. Oh wait, did I just get attacked before even making it to the gray circle? Oh no, okay, hold on. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready! Can I lock on someone else? Okay, triangle for groups. That didn't work. Medicine times two. Nice. What is my stamina? I missed that during all of this. <laughs> uh, rotate camera, rotate camera. Nothing important. I think gray has to be unlocked. Maybe. But, like, I am stopping at all the gray areas. They just don't say anything there, right? So that's why I thought they were, like, that's where the encounters happened or whatever. I just kind of assumed. But, obviously, I've been attacked now twice in between areas. So that, that was... I was obviously mistaken there. I gotta remember that I can use X to... to dodge. Or not to dodge, but, uh... You know. Okay, you're dead. Is there another one? A couple more someone's. Why isn't he doing anything? Come on. There's gotta be a way to hit people on the ground or something. Right. And I didn't see, does the D-pad do anything? I should have tried that. It's probably just another way to move around. A lot of old PS2 games did that. No problems with the goods, I see. Okay, good work. <laughs> it was a cinch, old man. Yeah, you're welcome, BB. Well, it was a cinch, was it? Sure. After all, I'm the guy who's gonna be Hokage someday. A mission at this level is a piece of cake. <laughs> Hokage, huh? That's a pretty bold statement. I like you, kid. I'm expecting great things from you. Right. See you, old man. I don't like the constant being pulled out of the experience. I made the same sort of complaint when I was playing Ghostbusters for the podcast that me and my buddy Jonathan do. Um, like the, the very short gameplay sequences mixed with constant stopping for whether it be a, a loading screen or a uh, cutscene or whatever just kind of pulls you out of the experience. You know, I don't see the need for it. I understand like Especially back, you know, on the PS2, there they had to have loading screens every now and then. Not every game could be a big open world thing or something. But it sometimes it's just too much, you know. Okay, so you can't redo missions. It doesn't look like. Quest for help has come from the only source of ninja tools in the village, Emporium. Car Karin. Go to the shop, learn the owner's situation, help restore the business. Sure, why not? So you don't actually get to meet who the Hokage is at all? <laughs> like, I was kind of, like, I thought you would come here and he would kind of tell you about the mission or whatever, not just read a little thing about it. 
I'm a tiny bit disappointed, but not the end of the world. Let's see. So this is Emporium Karin? Where is everybody? Hello? Hey! Can I help you? It's not creepy at all. Oh good, a ghost girl. <laughs> Um, that's fair. I think it gets a little better as you go on. Yeah, I think you're probably right. A lot of exposition and stuff here in the beginning. Can you skip dialogue? You can. I never know if that's a good thing to do when streaming, but not surprised. If this keeps up, the shop will go under. So please, please, please save my shop. That could be easier said than done. If you cheered up a little, that might help. If you could just help advertise the shop. Advertise the shop? Me? Dude, we got a sponsorship already? <laughs> Cool. Got some free stuff. A bunch of ninja tools, it looks like. Always happy for gear. I'm not convinced she's not a ghost. I'm thinking the same illness that took her dad took her, and she's just stuck here now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have to take our sponsor and murder people using the weapons they provide so that people know they can buy more, more murder tools at the shop. Great, let's do it. <laughs> So after you accept a mission, it doesn't seem like you can go back or anything like that. You just kind of have to, like you can't go and accept a new mission or something. You just have to finish the one that you have. Um, so she said something about like handing out stuff and whatnot. So I wonder if maybe we should travel through the town areas. I guess. Start with South Town, beat up some people on the way, talk to some people. Go to East Town. See what happens. Yeah. Hey kid, you're getting on my nerves. I literally didn't do anything. If you've got money, hand it over. Otherwise, beat it. Oh yeah? How about a third option? I kick your butts. I'll show you that Emporium Carring Ninja Tools are better than anyone oh, no. else. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't get any better than that. That's the best kind of advertising. Advertise by punishing outlaws. You need to beat a certain number of enemies before the mission can be declared a success. Okay, so I, I pretty much had it right. So am I supposed to use these tools as part of my, my butt kicking? Ow. Nice. Ah. Uh, Shadow Clone. Why not? I forgot about the power strike. I need to remember that I have that one too. Probably. I can't remember what I said to be honest. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> so what's a uh, full strength power strike do? 
a lot of freaking damage, okay. It's more powerful than I expected, to be honest. Oh, and then I just throw a bunch of flowers on the ground. So not only do we take our sponsor, our sponsored weapons that we provided and murder people with them, but then we litter all over the place with their flyers. About using tools. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Um, so I guess I need to beat up more people. Just the one didn't seem enough. I wonder, the farther we get away from town, are we more likely to be attacked? Kind of feels like it. Oh, okay, you use the uh, arrow keys to switch who you're locked on to. That kind of makes sense. Okay, okay. I can get into it. I, I wish... Now, the, the technology at the time was a little bit more limiting, right? So I understand why they would have made the game this way, but I do kind of wish that it was, uh, like, open world or something, right? Where you could actually, like, run around place to place or something instead of these little tiny arenas that you're exploring. Okay, I can't actually stop in South Town, so... I guess I just keep walking until the mission says, hey, you're done. Let's go up to here. Why not? Maybe, maybe it doesn't matter how far away you are from town, because <laughs> we're pretty close now and we got attacked. Ooh, okay. A little bit different area, at least. Let's, uh, what other items do we have? So medicine recovers health, that recovers stamina. I was wondering what those did. We have the kunai knife, five-way kunai. That's pretty cool. Let's try burn all this grass. I wonder what a firebomb would do. Like, I wonder if it will uh, actually like catch stuff on fire or no, it just blows up. Okay, I mean that's fair. Again, having like fire physics and stuff probably would have been a bit of a a pain at the time. So, perfectly understandable, but it would have been cool, nonetheless. It was close at the time that they could get to New Heart too. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, I I perfectly understand. Um, it was a PS2 game after all, like, it's not like this is a brand new PlayStation 5 exclusive or something like that, you know? <laughs> like, they deserve a little bit of, a uh... leeway's not quite the right word, but you know. Oh, so you can just cut through the town to get up here. I thought we had to, like, walk all the way around. Should probably change from the firebombs too. I don't really care for that. What else do we have though? We can. So virtue needed. Oh, we already have a fair bit of virtue. Do we have any skills unlocked? View all chips. Just the drain effect. Okay. But we can buy new ones here. See, why is there like two different menus for buying this stuff? That's the kind of thing that. Like, they, uh, they should have had where you set the, the chips. I feel like you should be able to buy them as well. Oh, no, I wanted free room so bad, but this was at least close, which was nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It seems like it'll be pretty decent if it just opens up a little bit more. But even now, like, it, it's relatively fun. So these are relatively cheap, but I have to make sure that they'll actually fit. I wish I could see my uh my thing here my skill play here see what i mean about it? it needs to have this all together so that i know which ones to buy that will actually fit like i'm not dumb right like there's nowhere here that i can buy it doesn't look like it okay so that fits on the top that would fit in the bottom but i don't really feel like i need more health I'm not having that much trouble um, I don't think those will fit. That one would stamp up, but again, don't really care, to be honest. Flash jump, quickly press jump twice while standing to instantly jump. During jump, press jump button again to dash in the direction of left analog stick. I don't really care about any of these, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not going to buy any of that stuff right now. Um, so I'll just, uh, I'll raise my stamina a bit.
And then uh, health. I don't know what kind of build we're going for right now, so I'll just do a little bit of both. Why not? Okay, so here's our mission in case we forget what that is. And I guess that's it. Cool. And I forgot to change from the firebomb. Like I said, I was going to. That's the whole reason I originally went into the menu, but I'm an idiot. Try that five way kunai knife. That sounded pretty cool. I need to remember about the uh, the jutsu. Okay, so that seems to do a pretty decent amount of damage too, having the five way. I wish uh, I can't remember what game it is off the top of my head. It may have been Nino Kuni, but there was a there's a game that I play uh, or have played a couple of times. And it, like, whenever you finish a battle, all of the orbs that are on the ground kind of get sucked in so that, like, you know, you just automatically pick everything up. I think that would have been nice in this situation. At least they give you a second to try to pick up as much as you can. That's much better than if they just, you know, was like, oh, sorry, battle's over. Anything you didn't pick up is done. So, I mean, I'll take what I can get, but... Although that could also be, like, some sort of power-up or something later, right? Like another thing that you unlock. I see an item, so I should probably pick that up at least. I can't wait for the game to open up a little bit more. Right now, everything's a little bit easy. Okay, so if we get attacked, do we just stop at the next position instead of continuing forward? That's what it feels like. Hello. Do you want to be friends? I think my friend died. I forget already. How does the stamina rebuild with the blue orbs? Right, right, right. Okay. But health doesn't seem to naturally regen, at least not while I'm in a mission, best I can tell. I could certainly just be missing something but i think i'd have to use the medicine to get that to respawn or to refill respawn whatever yeah okay so it definitely seems like you you stop after getting attacked at whatever the next orb is I do like the different environments, though. At least it's not the same thing literally all the time. I wonder by the end of the game if they would get to be a little bit samey, right? Like, seeing the same... Like, if they have enough variety to make it... Interest... To keep it interesting the entire time. But as of now, at least, like, I don't have any... Complaints with the variety, right? How many more do I have to beat? I should check out the uh, the mission thing to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Can I check it out from here? I can. Uh, go to the shop, learn the owner's situation, help restore the business, fight off the outlaws. Yeah, that's, that's all it says. I guess we just keep going around and seeing what happens. Yeah, sure. Nice. Oh, I'm attacking nothing. I, okay, I'm locked on. Can you please turn around, Naruto? Thank you. Okay, so you have to... Even if you're locked on, it seems like, or if you start hitting a different direction... Yeah, if you're in an animation for, like, attacking or something, you are stuck in that animation. You can't stop until you just... You know, stop hitting the button, obviously. Or, like, all the buttons. Okay, that's not that big of a deal. Okay, let's try stopping in the Leaf Village and see if we can return to the shop, maybe? Maybe this is enough and it just doesn't notify you? Because I feel like I've done a lot of fighting, right? I feel like it would be enough by now. Unless, is there another... battle weapon that I need to use or something? Okay, so, twin-edged kunai. Let's try that one. Throw a couple of those out. 
Oh, damn. <laughs> Those do some damage. I saw, yeah, I was gonna say, I saw some, some weapons or items. Make sure I pick those up. I need to remember that I can do the, uh, the log decoy thing. That's gonna take some getting used to. They give you a lot of kunai knives. I feel like that should just be infinite. Honestly, with as many as they're handing over. Unless maybe there's like a point in the game or something where it becomes rare, but... Certainly doesn't seem like it. Okay. Oh. Now I can go to the general store and stuff. Oh, did did working with... Uh, Karin... Uh, unlock that or something? But I can also walk around, so maybe I need to tell people about... Yay! Hey, thank you for following, man. Appreciate it. For some reason, I had my alerts turned off, but I saw a pop up in chat and I appreciate you. All right, so if we go back to the general store now, can we finish up the quest, maybe? The mission? Pexify, is that how you say that? Looks a lot nicer in here now that you turn on some lights and shit. But Karin, you've really got to change your style. If you stay this gloomy, your customers will just stop coming again. I understand. I'll try to do my best. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay, see you around. Thanks again. And next time, maybe you'll buy something. Maybe. Maybe not. She revived herself. Yeah, I, I still think she's a ghost, man. She's just a slightly happier ghost now. <laughs> New chips available. Do we have to go to the general store or do I just buy those from my whatever in the menu? Oh, can I help you? So I can buy medicine. What's a dual C? Cover 100% or 100 health and 25 stamina. That's neat. And then, okay, nothing. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Doesn't seem like I can sell either. So the stuff we pick up is just for using. Did you... What'd you donate a thousand dollars to? I don't think I have donations enabled or anything like that. Hmm. Anyways, uh, just look in here. I don't. Yeah. So I don't think I have any sort of donations or anything up. Are you just typing that in there? Or did you actually find a link somewhere? I'm a bit confused, to be honest. So I guess we go back to the Hokage's room. Might as well save real quick first, though. Uh, Save over the beginning one there. Why not? And then go back to the Hokage's room, why not? See what other missions are available. Let's 
uh... later so I guess the last one that we got is the missing Thomas Saburo these words are not easy to see you know as far as I know because I was going to donate five bucks during one of you endorsed the stream and couldn't find anything like I said, I don't think I have any sort of donation thing set up, as far as I'm aware. Um, again, if you did, of course, I greatly appreciate it, but I, I so I'm pretty sure I don't. Uh, the famous candy has suddenly disappeared from shops. The village sweet tooths are in an uproar, and Anko, the elite Jonin, has taken ill from shock. Whoa. Okay. So, where do I go? <laughs> oh, I guess the big red glowy thingy? That would make sense. Seems like I can actually go in now too, so that's nice. really gone from every shop I wonder anyway I'll try combing the area yeah the only thing I could think of was stream labs because I do have like stream labs and uh, I know they have like a tip page but it's not showing anything either, so. I've already been to every sweet shop in town and didn't find any. For real? Then where can I go to buy it? Wouldn't I like to know? Oh, Thomas and girl. Uh, guess I'll just have to try looking in a different town. So he's not in this town. Now it's telling me to go over to Tanzaku Town. How much you want to bet he won't be at Tonzoku Town, Ton Tonzaku Town, and then we'll end up having to go back to, what was it, South Town, the one right beside East Town? That's what I'm feeling like is about to happen here. Just had me go all over the place. Keep going on. I really appreciate the thought, Nate. Um, I mean, one of these days we probably will set up a tip page. Like I said, I, I have like Streamlabs and whatnot, and they support that sort of thing. I'm, I'm, I just, uh, you know. Being, being smaller and just getting started, uh, you know, I mean, I've been doing this for years, but not seriously or anything like that. I never really felt the need to set up tips, doing it mostly for fun. Although now that I'm trying to collect all the PS2 games, that would certainly be helpful. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm not a, uh, I'm not in a rush to set up tips or anything like that. Um, but I appreciate the sen sentiment. No, he will be in Southeast Town. Yeah, that's what I feel like is going to end up happening too. But it seems like I have to go to the places that's glowing in red because when I tried to enter one of the towns before, it wouldn't let me. Not until I. Uh, Not until it started glowing red like this. It'll be faster asking someone than just searching on my own. I'll try asking that person. Say, excuse me. Hey, hey, is there a place that sells Thomas Saburo? You can't buy anything like Thomas Saburo anywhere now. I hear the maker isn't making them at all. What? You mean the Thomas all gone because the maker's gotten lazy? Hey, miss. Where is the maker anyway? The Thomas Aboro maker? I think he lives in South Town. Hmm, really? Okay, thanks. Caught it. Heading right back down to South Town now. <laughs> These people gonna make me go everywhere. I 
I swear if he's not here. He was in Lee Village the whole time. <laughs> just to visit the mountain. I'm not about to turn over my hard-earned money to those crooks. Mm, I see. So that explains it. All right, just let me chase them off for you. Hold it! Count me in, too. Choji, what are you doing here? I'm a huge fan of Thomas Subutu, actually. <laughs> I've taken the loss personally. <laughs> Of course he would be. Then I heard you and the candy maker talking. All right, then we'll both go kick the bad guy's butt. I'll show them what happens when they mess with food. Okay, you don't want to mess with food whenever he's around. Hey, okay, so at least we're slowly unlocking more of the map. So as we complete missions and things and get sent to new locations, that'll let us travel to those areas more often, maybe. I hope that we can actually, like, explore these other towns and whatnot at some point, though, instead of it just being little cutscenes whenever we arrive there. I didn't- <laughs> I didn't mean to use sexy jutsu. My bad. I was trying to switch over to Joji. I wanted to see what his fighting was like here. And he does the- ooh, okay. He does the- the boulder thing. That's pretty cool. Powerful, too, it seems like. Yes, you did. Do you mean, yes, you do get to explore, like, other parts of the town eventually or something? Or the other towns, I mean. The Thomas Rebuto ingredient called Honeydew grows up ahead. That's right. And this is our territory. Hey, boy. If you want to pass through here, you've got to pay a toll. Uh -huh. I ain't paying no toll. No, Naruto, we won't. <laughs> Don't lie to the guy. Or do you want it in kicks? Oh. What did you say? You little punks think you can mess with adults? Okay, we can pay the toll that way. We can do that. That's acceptable. Oh, jeez, that dude came, like, out of nowhere. Just, like, came flying down from the mountain. Okay. I need to, uh, actually, like, move a little bit. Too big of a group at one time. I need to remember I can use, like, Shadow Clone and stuff, too. I keep forgetting about my abilities that I have. Especially whenever it's big groups like that. I feel like something like the, uh, whatever it's called, where you charge up the, the move. I feel like that would end up being pretty helpful, actually. Come on, game. <laughs> what the hell? They go. Boy, I'm tired. I'm too hungry to walk anymore. Let's forget them and look for the honeydew plant first. Uh, well, the mission is to get the Thomas Saburo back. Huh? Get up, Choji. They're back. And they brought company. Is somebody a little bit stronger this time? I'd love to get, like, a boss fight or something. 
There are things that Choji's human boulder can break that Naruto cannot. Use Choji and Naruto creatively and find the honey to plant. If you can accomplish this, you clear the event. Ooh, okay, so we're actually like exploring a little bit now. Some puzzle elements. How? Okay, so a different kind of ninja at least. I don't know if she's any stronger per se, but... At least something different, you know? I hope you can unlock the ability at some point to have like a larger area. Um, weak attack. I don't want to move any of that stuff. I was trying to invert the camera movement buttons. But uh, like have a larger area that you pick up from. Oh, geez, man. I didn't expect so many people to come in at one time. <laughs> yeah, let's get in a giant group. Go ahead, dare ya. Yes. Okay, so I can see, I'm pretty sure what they want us to do, right, is break through that log there. But the explorer in me tells me that I have to explore the rest of the area. Can I, so the log maybe, but can I break through these rocks here too, or no? Probably also use a healing item soon, before I just, like, die. Oh, jeez. Sooner or later, I'll get used to the non-inverted camera movements. Ooh, chests, okay. So there are, like, ex things for us to find. Maybe. Okay, there it goes. You gotta break it open. Alright, Choji. It's your time to shine, buddy. Yes, he can. Okay, dope. And I don't have any items equipped, so... I have a crap ton of those. Let's equip that. I wish you could kind of, uh... I wish you could, like, use these outside of battle. That'd be nice. Or not outside of battle. Outside of the menu. But it doesn't seem like you can. It seems like you have to go in the menu to do it. will grow for a while those big jerks they're gonna have to answer to me i swear i'll chase them off this time no matter what that won't be a problem we gonna fight the boss now you are. i'm taking you down for sure this time i mentioned for a good fight let's go we're pulling out of here we're sick of dealing with you two see ya hey wait come back here you cowards that's enough naruto i'm sure they won't be back How's a whole group of adults gonna just give up against a couple kids? Literally, two kids. Like, and there was what, like 30 of you just in this one little area? Kind of feel like an idiot for using those healing items now, though. Huh? Uh, it's honeydew plant. Where'd you two get this? <laughs> we took care of your mountain bandits problem. Really? Thank you. Now I can get back to work. All right, it's time to make some prime quality Tomasaboro. Tomasaboro. <laughs> Buro. Here you go. The final product. We just waited outside his shop the entire time he was cooking. It's a hand. Choji gonna eat it before we get there. Let's go, Choji. It's the real thing. Freshly made tamasaburo. <laughs> hey, Choji, you there? What? Oh. <laughs> what are you spacing out for? We gotta get back. Alright, back to the leaf village, right? 
couple fights along the way. Wouldn't be right if there weren't. That's like half the point, right? Fighting random people. It's normal dudes starving to death, wanting some food. Oh, am I gonna have to fight Toji off? Let me fight Toji. Yes, let's go, let's go, let's go. Maybe it's a good thing that I healed up then. Let's go. Oh, okay, he throws bombs. That's not very nice. Oh, man, what? Can't attack at all whenever they're on the ground like that. So really, you want to like... Oh... Oh man, he might kick my ass. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, I asked for something a little bit harder. Is it going to make us start over from the last save? Oh man, come on. Ah, it sucks. There's no checkpoints. I mean, that was very common back then with RPG games and whatnot. That means we had to do all that crap over again? That sucks. Man, we got our ass kicked there, too. I only got, what, like three hits in on him? <laughs> oh, feels bad, man. All right. Sorry. We'll just go through it quick this time. Don't have to worry about all the cutscenes and whatnot. We can just skip through it all. Be right back to it. Like, five minutes. Let's go. So, we're just getting more practice, right? That's all. Just gotta learn what we're doing a little bit. We're new to uh, Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles 1. Can I go this way? No, okay, it looked open, but... I guess it's not actually open though, you know? Any more? Just two guys, super easy, super quick. All right, first town, you think he's here? <laughs> Pretty sure he's not. I mean, we checked, like, what, 10 minutes ago? Can you skip the entire cutscene? No, just the, just the dialogue. I mean, it's better than not being able to skip anything, right? Because that was pretty common back in the day, too, to not be able to skip dialogue, cutscenes, nothing. Shit, I'm sure it still happens from time to time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know already. Having some serious deja vu here, man. Could have swore we'd been here before. You were talking about that, uh, I don't know if you can still hear Nate, but you were talking about that uh, Full Metal Alchemist game the other day. I haven't looked it up to see how much that one costs yet. But I've been thinking about it a lot since you mentioned it. I really do want to play it here soon. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be picking up any more games this week. I have a uh, Mortal Kombat game on the way. And uh, Eternal Ring, an Order From Software game on the way. But I think that may be... Like, unless... Most of the games I've been picking up, I've just been uh, looking for ones with good deals and whatnot. And then just, like, buying whatever's, you know, under market value at the moment. But, um, yeah, the next game, like, that I specifically hunt for may end up being one of those Full Metal Alchemist games. I wish I could remember the one specifically that I played, because I would love to play that one again, but, yeah, it's probably just gonna be whatever. Whatever I can find that's a reasonable price. Because those are fun. And playing a, an anime game here just makes me want to play that much more, because, you know, another anime game. Nice. 
I need to do a little bit of research because I'm sure if I saw some screenshots or whatever of the one that I played before, I'm sure I would be able to recognize it. I, while this is all playing out, I wonder how long is this game? Uh, not Ultimate Ninja Storm. Uzumaki. Uzumaki, my bad. Chronicle. Man, I, I can't type and do other stuff at the same time. Let's see. Oh, this game's not super long either. 11 hours. What game, Phone Cut? Uh, if you were asking what game, I was looking to see how, how long it was. This one. If you were asking about which game I was doing research on, uh, the, the Full Metal Alchemist one. Because I, like I said, I would like to play the one that I had played before. I just can't remember the name of it, but if I seen some screenshots, I, I'm sure I would remember it. I remember, like, being on a train at one point, um, and then having to go, like, up on the train and, and, and then use the, some of the alchemist abilities to, uh, what, like, create a phone or something like that? Of a, 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 oh, man, I can't even remember. Like, I don't remember the details, but I can see the train and whatnot in my head. And I never did beat that game. I think I had rented it from Gamefly or something, so. I would love to play a little bit more of it, maybe even beat it at some point. And then, yeah, this game's only 11 hours for the main story. If you do all the extras, apparently it's about 12 hours, so this game isn't all that long at all. I mean, it's a decent length. It's not, like, super short. I mean, how we played Alien Hominid the other day, and that was... What, two and a half hours, something like that? Like, talk about being short, you know? It's crazy how much harder Choji was than all of these guys here, though. Like, I'm, I'm glad to see, though, that the whole game isn't as easy as fighting off these guys. That would have been pretty upsetting if it the whole game was, you know, this easy. And then I'm sure it'll get much harder, too, like, as we start fighting, like, Orochi... Oh, oh, is it Orochi Maru? Orochi Maru? However the hell you pronounce it. Once we start fighting, like, him and whatnot, I'm sure it'll get much, much harder even then. I need to remember to equip my kunai knife. Whenever we get to the... Next little cutscene here, through the next little cutscene here. For anybody who's just joining, I would just like to remind you that this is part of the PS2 gauntlet that I'm doing. Trying to collect and stream a little bit of every PlayStation 2 game release in North America. Um, excluding ones that I can't for one reason or another. Like the the anything that may have been banned by Twitch or you know things that show excessive amounts of nudity or anything like that. Um, and then it may get a little weird with some of the copywritten stuff like the... You know, sing stars and guitar heroes and rock bands and stuff like that. But we'll figure that out as things progress. Won't worry too much about that at the moment. So, whenever they're blocking, is there a way to, like, break through their block, I wonder? Or... How do you deal with that? I guess maybe just try to, like, get around them, behind them. Maybe the only way to do it. I only thing I can think of. Still feel like this is a job best made for Choji here. With the crap ton of people. Can we not break through that log? Can we break through a freaking boulder but not through a log? <laughs> nope. Choji deaded. Oh, he has infinite... Weapons? Speaking of, I need to change mine before I forget. Kunai knife, thank you. Okay. Can I not break through this? 
I could have, I would have thought like the first time I came through here, I was like, oh yeah, this boulder here, I should be able to easily break through that with Troji, right? And then the, the actual boulder that I saw, I was like, oh no, the boulder we won't be able to break through. <laughs> Just make a free only fan or porn hub for the adult games. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the only fans of gaming. Just going to play uh, PS2. Only PS1 and PS2. You know what? We'll throw in some Nintendo games there too. I know there's like one or two bootleg porn games for the original Nintendo, man. Everybody wants to see those uh, Nintendo titties, right? That's where it's all at. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it feels so weird making like a porn hub or an OnlyFans with a gaming account, like for a gaming account. Like a Patreon, something like that would make sense, right? Because I mean, yeah, it's a Patreon, whatever. But then having, I don't know, something about a gaming porn hub or, or OnlyFans account. I'm sure it exists though, like people had to have done it, right? And I've heard of like, uh, uh, game videos being on Pornhub. I knew that was a thing, at least for a little while. I don't know if they still exist on there or not, but... People certainly have done weirder things, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen all this before. Just trying to get through it. And no, it's not going to be free, Nate. If I make a, a Pornhub account, it's going to be... Or, or an OnlyFans account. Are there paid Pornhub accounts? You can do paid videos, right? But do they have, like, an OnlyFans locked behind a paywall sort of deal on there? I don't think they do, but I, I could certainly be wrong. I am no expert on the inner workings of Pornhub. How many times do we have to say, like, OnlyFans or Pornhub in this video before we ever, or lose the, the opportunity to ever monetize this video on YouTube? Not that I have anywhere near the requirements to monetize video on YouTube anyways, but, you know, just... <laughs> Alright, should I heal? Well, no, I can just pause at any time and heal, so I won't worry about it. If I get lucky, I'll beat Choji without having to heal. You can lock all- oh, okay. So you could have, like, the account itself free, but then all of your videos would be paid only. Sort of deal, where you have to- it's what, you have to pay, like, five dollars a video or whatever? You can probably set the price, I would imagine, but it's that sort of thing, I guess. Huh? Alright. I don't- want to stop the stream to start a poll so i'm not like a real poll so i'm not going to but do you think i'm going to uh <laughs> to be choji this time or just die a terrible death again my vote's on dying a terrible death again <laughs> just not to skew the the unofficial poll here but uh yeah that's that's what i think's gonna happen <laughs> I feel like this is pretty early on in the series. Because the, the kids still seem pretty kid-like. And... I mean... Like... Choji... I don't know, I feel like he got a little bit more mature... As the series went on, at least from, you know, the first 120 episodes or whatever that I've seen. I feel like he got a little bit more mature. Gained a little bit more depth than just the, the big guy that likes food. They made him into, like, a, a more respectable character. Dead. Piece of cake, guys. That's what we say now. Till we get murdered by our classmate. I see so many loading screens, man. It's crazy.
Like the PS2, I, I know the PS1 was like brutally low on memory, RAM space and whatnot. I don't know off the top of my head how bad the PS2 was in that regard. But I feel like this is still an insanely, uh, or an insane amount of loading screens. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We got this. We got this. Just wait for the boulder thingy to end. So once he hits something, it seems like it automatically kind of ends. Let's get some shadow clones out here when he's on the ground, because we all know that when you're on the ground... Does Sexy Juice work on him? It does. <laughs> now, uh... I don't remember how to use... Ow. How, how do I use... Uh, circle... Circle triangle? There it goes. I was like, the thing, the thing, I can do the thing, right? With the, the nine tails and whatnot, what makes Naruto so special? Oh, dude, we... Oh, he's got, like, multiple health bars. So he's, like, a proper boss. Okay. I don't feel quite as bad for dying the first time. Although, you know... I feel like I still should have been able to beat him, but eh, whatever. <laughs> bad gamer's bad. It's okay. Sorry, <laughs> Choji. You'll get to eat your fill soon enough, so just hold on. You know what I do appreciate in this game, though, actually, and something you didn't see a whole lot in games from the time. I feel like. Wait, my reward was a single kunai? That's trash. Anyways, uh, the subtitles, man. A lot of games back then didn't have subtitles. So I do really appreciate that. As somebody that prefers, you know, movies and everything with subtitles, it's nice to see that there. All right, let's make sure we save because I don't want to have to start over again from the beginning. <laughs> or not from the beginning, but from the beginning of that mission, at least. Why is there a red star next to file one? Is that... Nope, they both have that now. Maybe that's my rank or something? Hmm. Don't know. Not sure. Hey, okay, we're unlocking more and more stuff. So is this, is this the whole game? Like, is this just more of this the entire time? So we're doing the same mission from the beginning again, but it's more fragile. Okay. I mean, if this is it, then honestly, like, it's fine if it is, but I feel like 11 hours may have actually been a little long to make the game if this is all you're going to do the entire time. But maybe it opens up a bit more. Oh, that's neat. I'm glad that you can... Partial expansion. Oh, that must be where he does his hand or something, right? Um, I'm glad that you can make, like, teams and stuff for your individual missions. That's neat. I like that. So, you'll unlock more characters then, at least, right? As time goes on. Um, I'm terrible with names, so I can't remember. There's, what, Sasuke. Um, the rest of them. <laughs> I'm sure people... Would be really mad at me for not remembering the names of, but... Oh, dope. And we're going somewhere completely new now, too. I'm assuming the map is just this area, though. Like, it doesn't get any larger than... Than what we can see right now. It's just we unlock more and more little nodes along the map. Yeah. You would think after watching like 120 episodes or something, I would remember more of the names of the characters in the show, but I am so bad with names. That's a lot of goods you got. Leave them and run along. And then you uh you take that and you make them, you know, non-English names and oh lord. I'll teach you to talk back to your elders. It's bad. Okay. So yeah, same exact rules. I don't even know why it popped up and told us the the rules again. It's exactly the same as it was before. You look big. Okay, so you're like a big broody guy this time. Alright, but we gotta remember that the cart is weaker now. 
So we need to try to keep guys away from it, I think. Right before it wasn't that big of a deal if uh, they, they beat on it a little bit every now and then. I feel like for this mission, maybe we need to try to stop them from actually touching it. The kunai are surprisingly strong, man. Doing more damage than my fists were, like... Now he's probably going to come back with a lot more people. You done made him mad. I wish I could hit people on the ground, please. Oh, Lord. I'm sure there's like something that I'm missing. And one down. Well, two down, I guess. One more to go. The cart is, like, dangerously low in health, though. Like, it's, what, damn near halfway? So we're gonna have to pay attention. The next couple of... If we get ambushed a couple more times. Because if we get ambushed another two times, then we may not end up making it. Gonna have to be careful. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so... Ah. Oh, jeez, that... Okay, where's the other guys at? And get you out of here. Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you do a lot more damage to the cart than those other guys do. Oh, jeez. Oh, wait, that other guy's dead? I didn't realize I killed the one over here. I thought he was still alive. <laughs> oh, no, 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 though. We are... We are not doing well. Please make it. Okay, we're at border time. We're good. We're good. That's it. That's all we had to do. Hopefully, I think. Please. You just call me stupid? I think you just called me stupid. But you're quite a kid. A lot of adults would have given up by now. I'm a ninja, so persevering is all part of the mission. I see. Very admirable. So you know, I'd be up for tougher missions, too. Careful what you wish for, kid. You may regret it. I stand by what I say. That's my Nindo. My ninja way. Nindo? <laughs> Enough for today. I'll ask for you again by name. Great, but how about a jazzier mission next time, old man? <laughs> sure, I'll try to line up a job more in keeping with your expectations. What do you want this random dude to give us, like mission wise? What do you expect from him? I also just realized we've been unlocking a lot of virtue. We can probably do some more upgrades. Been unlocking skill chips and whatnot too. Seems like, we'll see for sure after I save here, but it seems like I can't um, change my virtues and stuff though, my skill chips and all that while I'm in town until I've accepted a mission. No, okay, I can, okay. Cool, cool. Um, so, skill chips, what have we got? Said we unlock some new stuff. Taijutsu AT damage taken reduced. That's nice, but I don't think it'll fit too well. Taijutsu AT, I guess that means attack. Weapon, attack damage taken reduced by 10, okay. Just base def defense up, that's kind of nice. You might take one of those. 
extra clones would be nice, but I don't think that'll fit. Um, I can't unlock that for some reason. What's up with that? Okay, let's uh let's get the defense up. So I'm pretty sure that one will fit. And then we have to go all the way back, go to skill plate, and then set this. Okay, so I have two little triangles that I can still put in. Yeah, this system could have been so much better for sure. For sure. It's not like terrible, it's just... They should have really at least shown you the skill plate, even if they were going to have two, it in two separate menus. They should have at least shown you your skill plate so you could better select what you wanted to have and where. Um, okay, so it doesn't seem like I can do much. I can do a defense plus one, which I, mean, I might as well. Just to fill it up, I don't see any reason not to. And then an attack plus one. Just to get it filled up, right? Then, uh... Stamina... What's stamina do exactly? I think that's whenever you do the different... Sort of... Attacks, right? So let's... Uh, let's try a stamina build, whatever. Maybe the completely wrong idea that I'm having here, but... It's fine. <laughs> Seems like we get a pretty decent amount of virtue. I'm not that worried about it. Sensei for a day. Due to the number of incidents recently, many academy instructors are busy with missions. Graduates are being sought to fill in while the teachers are out and help train the younger students. Okay. So let me guess. We're going to train the younger students by going around and beating up bandits. Just a, just a guess. Save one more time. Pretty sure I did once already, but I don't want to forget to, so. Uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just save over that one. Thank you. Alright, leave the village, let's go. And unlocking more of the map. Um, so these are all other villages, right? Is that like the sand village? I don't know what that is. I don't really know what any of these are. I'm sure I've seen them in the show at some point, but I kind of remember the forest. I don't know if specifically if it was the East Forest, but kind of remember the forest from the show. So you're here, Naruto. To think the day would come when you'd be sensei. Mm, you doubt me, old man? Okay, sorry. Let me explain the class. Today's class is a special exercise, a test of nerve and endurance. You know how it works, right? The object is to find all the hidden charms and bring them back here. This exercise is supposed to be conducted in teacher-student pairs. But since your teachers are all out on missions of their own, mm -hmm. we're asking you guys to fill in as sensei temporarily. Okay. So, are you gonna... <laughs> yeah, I've also asked Neji to help. I'm counting on you two. Ah, uh, Neji's a sensei too? I refuse to lose! Okay, so who's the student that's gonna pair up with me? Don't be so impatient. Ah, uh, it's gonna be that little kid that Naruto's always... Yeah. Which kid ain't got assigned to be my sensei? Oh, so my student is Konohamaru, huh? Alright, Naruto's my sensei! <laughs> Some... I'm an old hand at this exercise. <laughs> I've done it three times. That's awesome. Hey, <laughs> wait a minute. That's only because you had so much trouble passing it, right? No. Anyway, I know this exercise like the back of my hand. So leave it all to me. Ooh, I like his confidence. Oh, that's right. Everyone who completes the exercise will receive a special reward. So do your best. Reward? Whoa! That gives me even more incentive! It's going to be Neji. Ready to set out? Yeah? Why wouldn't we be? Oh yeah! We're good to go at any time! I'm ready too! Okay, then begin the exercise. 
Be careful. All right. Let's do it, Konohamaru. Right. Are we going to get ambushed and I'm going to have to like save this little kid's life? I'd rather his life not be in my hands. I don't want to I don't want all that pressure put on me. All that responsibility. Not ready for all that. Train consists of finding the 12 charms hidden within the time allotted. Okay. They're fixed to trees and rocks. Cool. Gather 12 and return to this location. Event items. Be aware that the enemy will attack not only Naruto, but Kono Amaru as well, so be sure to guide. Okay. Run out of time, or if the kid dies. Yeah, I feel like we shouldn't have little kids training in the forest with bandits. Like, regardless of who's around, like... No, oh, jeez. Calm down, kid. Okay, so we just have to touch them. I wasn't sure if we'd have to, like, hit a button or anything to collect them, but... It seems like we can just touch them and get them that way. At least the kid seems to have a decent amount of health. Like, it's not... I can't get up there, can I? Oh, okay, there's a freaking ramp right here, dumbass. Charm 12 bore. Are there only 12 charms or are there a lot of extra ones? Ah, man, I don't have time for this. Come on, is there a charm up here? Yes. Okay, so that's, what, five or something that we collected so far? Six-ish. There's another one on the tree. Seven. Or the rat. I don't like you dodge or not dodging, blocking. Ow! Why you gotta beat up the little kid, girl? That ain't cool. What you gotta beat on little kids for? He ain't do nothing to you. Um I see a couple more. There's one on this tree right here beside us. Oh no, the camera. Oh the camera. Please turn camera. Thank you. Oh, I see another one over there. I don't know if I missed that one earlier or what. Let's grab that one. Okay, how many do we have? So we go to... Not options, dumbass. Event items, two. So we're missing two, five, eight. Is that it? Two, five, eight? So three more? It's not too bad, right? Okay, um, no, don't fall, Naruto. Damn it. Okay, run all the way back around. Oh, we can't go this way. Got to go back around here. Ah, oh, well, we found one by accident, but we found one. And there's another one. Okay, maybe it's a good thing that we ended up getting turned around then. And then just one more, right? What was it? Number eight? I think it's the last one. Jump. And it looked like it was right over here. Where that dude is out in the center. Just gotta jump over here. Don't fall, please. Okay, I think that was it. So now we just gotta make it back to the beginning. I won't worry about any of the other people, because screw them, man. We're just here for the mission. Call it a day. Uh, that's not the starting area. Where is it at? Here we go. That's it, GG, we did it. Naruto, eh? Oh, Neji! I can't see you as sensei. Must be a real shortage of manpower. Have you collected all the charms? Yes, I finished just now. I see you have too. Just finished? Oh, guess your Byakugan's nothing special then. What did you say? I mean, you heard me. Different from ordinary eyes like mine. Thanks, man. Naruto. You little. I've ignored your other taunts, but that's too much. Oh, are we gonna fight him now? Oh no, it's a race.
What's the goal? It's like the kids don't really care. They're just like <laughs> kind of being forced along into our schemes here. I'm kind of scared if I have to fight him, but if all I have to do is race him, that should be okay, right? Hey, wait, Naruto. Don't tell me you're just going to leave your student behind. And where's yours? something earlier I thought it might be easier without the students around what do you mean Naruto get ready okay we are gonna fight what, what? what are you gonna do Neji? you've gotten stronger more so than back when you beat me but I'm no longer the same as I once was either isn't it a good opportunity okay so this is after what the first tournament or whatever That's whenever they fought, right? I guess I can't use my uh, power yet. It seems like I'm probably not damaged enough for that. They fought in the tournament. Yeah, I remember. I just can't remember. Or I thought they did, but I couldn't remember for sure. Yeah, I'd rather not get hit by that if that's okay. So I don't think that would feel too good. Build up that shadow clone jutsu. Hit him with some of that. Yeah, boy. Let's get that power strike in here. He's gonna have multiple too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is my is my nine tails not built up? It looks like it's built up, right? I'm not crazy. Does that work on Neji? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Ah! Okay, I'm gonna have to use a healing item. Trying not to, but I am getting hurt. Let's use a couple of those. Where's he at? Ow! No! No, 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 I'm stunned. I can't do anything, I'm stunned. Oh, that's not as bad as I expected, though, to be honest. Thought that was gonna be a lot worse. Oh, that was worse. Ah, man, how much stamina or whatever do you got? Okay, let's uh switch items. Something I can use a little bit of range with. Um, Lower power, but has good homing power and hits multiple enemies. Or multiple times. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. We can make that work. I'm... Scared. <laughs> let's, see, let's heal up a little bit more. I thought by now I'd be able to. Oh no! I'm glad I healed up a bit. Can I? Oh, thank you, sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> I still can't seem to do the. Uh... Oh man, I can't. can't uh use the nine tail power for some reason i don't know if i'm doing it wrong or what okay let's uh do some more shadow clones here oh that made him waste his thing too because he was trying to use it against the shadow clone it seems dude <laughs> this is insane oh and because of his thing he's uh, he's, uh, doing my stamina, too. It's not just my health. It's damaging both. Ah, 
dude. I can't tell if I'm bad at this game, just like really bad, or if Neji's just really hard. Oh wait, okay, now it's blinking. Now I should be able to use it, right? Oh man, but I'm stunned. This might be it. This might be it. I might have lost. That's it. No. Oh man, I'm so angry. <laughs> and then of course it doesn't have the checkpoints. Oh. <laughs> All right. Obviously I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> Either that or it's just he's just really hard or both. Uh, okay, let's uh let's buy some kunai cuz I have like money, right? Do I have money? I just want regular kunai. I can't buy any though. Oh, you... You craft the stuff here. Oh, you exchange. There is no money. It's all exchange based. Oh, that's weird. And that's why dual C is blocked out because you have to have minerals for that one. Okay, so I don't really care about the shop right now then. Can't do anything here. All right, we're gonna do this mission one more time. If I lose, then yeah, <laughs> let's hope not. Uh, wrong way, go. This way. Really makes me wish that there was a way to skip the cutscenes entirely though. Having failed two missions now and having to redo them. I also need to practice the whole, not parry, but um, where you turn into a log thing, whatever you want to call that. Why is there such long pauses whenever they're talking? Like, like, it's just waiting for the camera to do a slow zoom in, slow pan to the right. Like, just, dude, just skip to the next part here. Like, right now I'm skipping through dialogue, so I guess that's probably part of it. But even whenever I was letting the dialogue play out, it was still... Like, they would just pause for a moment while the camera did its thing or whatever, and then they would finally start the next round of dialogue. Seems kind of, uh... I don't know. A bit much. Like, why make us sit around and wait? Is anybody just joining? I am playing this game as part of my PS2 gauntlet. Trying to collect and play every PS2 game released in North America and stream all the ones that I can along the way. I would love to do literally every game, but, you know, banned games, nudity, stuff like that may stop me from uh, doing all of them but I'll certainly do all of them that I can. This is only the third one that I've streamed so far, and it just started not too long ago. Uh, the other two were Alien Hominid and then MLB 06 The Show, which was terrible, by the way. Not the game itself, just me. <laughs> I'm uh, not a sports game person, and I think that was made abundantly clear by my attempts at uh, playing that baseball game. Um, it was bad, to say the least. She dead now? Yeah, she dead now. She dead, Jim. Okay. Nope, not that one. Lock on this one. You're fine, kid. Get over it. Okay, so I did collect that one up there, it looks like. I wasn't sure if I did or not. Make sure to pick up all the rations. It's kind of weird how people respawn in this one. They don't respawn... In the other missions, did they? I certainly didn't notice if they did. Okay, grab this one here. I kind of remember where they're at. Not all of them, of course, but... Kid, where are you at? Just come over here. Just stay behind me. Stop running off on your own, man. You're just asking me to get your ass beat. Uh, should we want on this log here? And then couple down over here before I go back up and around. 
I should have grabbed that one up top first on that center platform thingy there probably, but I guess it's too late now. I keep trying to use circle to dodge too, and that's just, you know, doesn't work that way. <laughs> okay, is it Bloodborne where circles dodge? That may be the case. And, oh, I guess I didn't get this one up here, so I'm glad I came back over. So what, did the kid grab one of them maybe while I was up here? Because I definitely saw a, a pop-up, right? Like, I, whenever I was up there and I fell a little bit. I'm pretty sure one of them popped up. So maybe I, uh, maybe the kid collected one for me or something. Nice of him. Okay, I think last two. The one right in front of us. And then the one in that center platform that I forgot about. Try not to fall off in the meantime. Okay, good job. Like that. Try not to do that. That's a waste of time. We're going to end up failing the mission on the easy part. After having, having already beaten it once. Okay. Okay, he's down there. So I don't really care about him anymore, whether he's alive or not. Alright, let's check and see. Is that all of them? We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's all dope. Can we make that jump? No, we cannot. A man can dream. Kid, chill. You're fine. I can see your health bar. It's one of Naruto's abilities, if you didn't know. He can see health bars above people. It's kind of crazy like that. They never really talk about it in the show for some reason. But, yeah, he, he can. He can just... See how much life essence they have left, how much power they have left in them. It's insane, man. Really. Makes him the most powerful character in the whole series. That's it. Not the nine tails inside of him. It's the, the ability to see people's life. Alright, Dialogue, come on. We've heard all this before. Can't blame anyone but myself, though. I'm the dumbass that lost to Neji. As we get ready to wrap up this game, though, um, it's not bad, you know? It's, uh, it's not my favorite game. It's, gameplay-wise, it's okay. I, I, the combat system's decent. I wish the, it wasn't double tap X to dodge. I don't really care for that. And... I wish a couple things were a little bit more clear, but I'm pretty sure, you know, as you play the game for a bit longer, you would probably get more used to it, right? Um, and then the menus, uh, just having to go like multiple places for the skill plates and, and then buying the, the charms to put inside them and all that. Just kind of cumbersome. And then why not just have money? Right? Like, why make you trade items for other items? Like, you could just buy and sell stuff. It just makes more sense than trading crap. Maybe that's like a lore thing in Naruto I just don't know about or something like that. But, yeah. And then, and not having a checkpoint system, I can get over that though. You know, a lot of older games didn't. So that is what it is. As much as I wish that it had one, it's fine that it doesn't. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, oh, the, the, the big thing, though, the biggest thing, of course, is the constant pausing and loading of for cutscenes. That's, uh, that's the thing that really does it for me personally. Like, from a, uh, gameplay standpoint. I, I hate when games do that, and we just talked about this in, in the Just One More Level podcast, me and my buddy John, how games like to do that, and how it just completely pulls you out of the experience to have these constant short cutscenes. And, I mean, with it being a TV show, I guess, I don't know. I guess maybe they just felt like it was a little more uh, like the show. But I, I don't appreciate it personally, though. I definitely don't like it. When they do that, not the game itself. The game itself is okay, like I said. I, I don't know if I'll be returning to it anytime soon. 
But I can see how, like, if you were somebody that grew up with Naruto, I can see how you would really like the game, right? Like, how you could be very excited for it and then really enjoy playing through it, right? Because it's a lot like playing through an episode of the show or episodes of the show or whatever. So I can understand why somebody may have nostalgia for it. But I, I just, I don't think it holds up very well. It needs to be open, I think, is the, is the biggest thing. It needs to be more open with less, with less loading screens, less little level crap. And I'm really trying not to die here. I need to... Oh, and then not being able to use items from the battle is kind of annoying. Like, having to go into the menu to do it. So I, I can only guess that had something to do with... I don't know, honestly, why they did that. I'm trying to think of a reason for it, but... Why? And then, like... That thing's pulsing, right? I guess maybe I just don't have low enough health to use it. After this, I probably will. But, like, the, the Ninetales thing down in the corner is pulsing. Why can I not transform? It seems like anything where it makes you hit two buttons at the same time just doesn't like to activate half the time, which is a bit annoying. And there, it finally activated, but I don't want to risk taking a hit and, and dying here, so there we are. Um, I, I would also prefer if you could use abilities like that without having to be almost dead. They did the same thing in Final Fantasy XV, and I, I didn't care for that either. It's just like, I know the abilities OP, just like the summons were OP in Final Fantasy XV or whatever, but it's it's nice to be able to just use it whenever you want to use it. Doesn't hold up to your memory, Nate? Yeah. And that's why I said, if you're like a huge fan of the show or whatever, I can understand why you may want to play it or may have really enjoyed it as a kid, but I don't think it's for me, sadly, though. <laughs> See, okay, let's go. <laughs> All right. We have streamed that one now. Make sure I get that written down before I forget. Oh. Oh god. Uh, no, no, never mind. <laughs> Good job, you guys. Very well, you passed. You successfully completed the exercise. <laughs> yeah! Excellent, Naruto! I mean, uh, Naruto sensei! Okay, I'll give you the promised reward. Good work, you two. We think we're gonna get one kunai knife like the last mission? Or a couple missions ago, whatever it was? An orb absorb. Oh, so that's probably the thing I was talking about where I wish I could pull in things from further away. I'm guessing that's something like that. They added some type of free roam in the newer games I haven't gotten to mess with. Yeah, and that's like, I think that's the biggest thing this needed, right? The the constantly being pulled out for cutscenes is more of a personal thing. Like John, for instance, the co-host on Just One More Level, he didn't really mind that in uh, Ghostbusters. Like once I pointed it out, he kind of noticed it a little bit or whatever, but like it didn't really stop him from wanting to play. So that's more of like a personal thing, a me thing. Some people, I guess, would be perfectly fine with that. But, but I think... It's safe to say that most people probably would have liked this game better with some sort of free roam aspect added to it instead of just having, you know, the, the little tiny arenas that you fight in constantly. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's not bad, though. You know, it's not a bad game at all. It's just not for me. Um, but I think that is going to be all I really play of this game in particular, at least for now. If you guys, of course, if you want to see a whole lot more of it, then let me know. I'm... I'm happy to to appease you but uh i don't think i'm going to be coming back to it myself on my own what i will say though i have a little bit more time to stream tonight so i think what i'm going to do actually is play a little bit more of alien hominid i that game is far from perfect don't get me wrong alien hominid is but 
I, it's short enough and fun enough that I just kind of want to see if I can make it a little bit farther in the game. And uh, I believe we're on a boss level, so I'm probably just going to try to play a level or two of that. But I am going to take a very short, just like a three or four minute break in the meantime. Stretch my legs, do all that sort of stuff, and then come back with a little bit of uh, Alien Hominid. So for everybody in the stream, thank you so much. And for everybody in on YouTube and YouTube land watching the VOD and stuff like that, if you do, then uh, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. I will be back.